what's going on everyone RC84 here like always thanks for watching well folks I have my next little RC project that I'm going to start in here on the channel hopefully this project is going to run a lot smoother than the Tamiya Unimog project that I was building on I ran a few issues with that so hopefully with this build uh, it'll go a lot smoother I actually had time to think about how I'm going to do this vehicle how I'm going to take it apart put it all back together all that good stuff I've been studying it a lot here lately so my friends, this is the Tamiya M1025 Hummer, or Humvee if you want to say. Uh, I've always wanted one of these vehicles. Ever since I got into the RC trail crawling, I've always wanted a Hummer H1 vehicle because they are one of my off all-time favorite off-road vehicles. Every time I saw a Hummer, I was like, oh man, that's bad. I, I really want one of these. And uh, so I finally came across this online on eBay, actually. And when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get this. This is a, a very kind of a rare vehicle to find. And um, I found it, and now I got it. I'm very happy about it. So this is a 112 scale. Well, the body is 112 scale, but it's mounted on a 110 scale Torin chassis, which is a TA02 chassis. Some people like to say it's a TA TA01 chassis, but other people say it's a TA TA01 slash TA2 Torin chassis. Um, I don't know what the big difference is. I think with the TA02 chassis, it has longer suspension arms on it, which uh, really gave this Hummer its more scale look, as you see there in the back as well. You get that that scale look of an actual Hummer H1 or Humvee if you want to say. So uh, let's go ahead and take the body shell off and show you the, the chassis. So here it is my friends, the Torn chassis. This is before it got all modern day stuff. Um, but it has the uh, Tamiya's uh, famous little bathtub chassis on it. You see, shocks and everything. Now the description said that uh, the vehicle runs, been tested, and uh, everything looks good and I tested it out it does work but it does need a lot of TLC uh, definitely needs a good cleaning um, and some other things I'm uh, also seeing some missing screws here and there so I have to replace those as well so this is not going to be like a build project it's more going to be like a restore or restoration project restoring this thing back to running condition get it out there on the trail or out there yeah, yeah, the trails. Get it out there on the trail and ride it. Now, uh, awesome. Now the tires are looking actually look pretty good, but really, guys, um, I don't know if you can see if I can get it if it will focus. But the tires are actually dry ride. Right? All four tires. When I saw the vehicle for the first time, I was like, oh, the tires are pretty brand new for being a, a 95 model. Uh, they're pretty brand new, but they're actually all dry rotted. Uh, and that tells me that this vehicle has been sitting up for quite some time, and uh, the tires just got, all got dry rotted. So I had to replace the tires. Um, another thing is, is that the vehicle is four-wheel drive. It's shaft driven, but it's not full-time four-wheel drive. As you see, the front wheels are spinning but the real ones are not. So I have to lock the diffs in this vehicle to get that full time full of drive, just like I needed to do with the Tamiya Unimog. So uh, yeah, so uh, also the motor needs to be replaced. I'm actually going to tear this apart and uh, check out everything, make sure the gears look okay. Um, and uh, redo this whole thing, you know, give a, a nice little paint job, change out the motor. Uh, replace the bearings and stuff like that because all this stuff I mean is this a 22 year old car I mean it was made in 1995 uh, and it's 2017 so it's about 22 years old so I think it definitely needs uh, to be taken apart and look at and make sure that the uh, the gears and all that stuff is copacetic uh, now finding parts for this type of vehicle is very hard I mean you can find some of the you know mechanical stuff like the shock arms, uh, shock arms, <laughs> um, like steerings and stuff, you know, the motorized stuff, you can find that, uh, a few little, little other parts like the knuckles and stuff like that you can find, but it's very hard to find the body pieces for it. So if I wanted to replace this body, which I might even do because guess what guys, I have a body shell for it. Let me get that the wrapper. <laughs> Brand new body shell. This thing was hard 
to track down, guys. I'm telling you, very hard to track this thing down uh, because being the year it is when it was released, uh, released, uh, it's discontinued now, so it's kind of hard to find these parts. I searched for a good solid month on my phone, on the computer, tablet, trying to find the body shell and pieces for this uh, body here. And um, I actually found it over in the UK. So I actually had to order some of these parts off of UK, off the U over in UK, all right? So, and I had to translate some of the information just to actually read it. So uh, as you see, new body, old body, definitely got a little, a lot of uh, time, uh, uh, I guess a lot of wear, the aging of it really says that this thing's been around a few. So I got that. Now over here I got all my parts that I have ordered for this build or this restoration or restore it. So uh, start here. I got the headlights for the uh, for the front. Now I can't do it with this right here because it's actually broke the mounts to uh, actually hook the uh, the lights into uh, it's not there no more. It's actually snapped off and it's also broken right there. If I don't know if you guys can see it, if I can get my finger out of the way, but it's broke right there. So somebody really hauled some buggy and crashed this thing hard to, uh, to break a plastic shell like that. So, but I ended up getting the pieces. It also, also comes with the, uh, the top torrent part for the vehicle. I got a brand new 540 series motor from Tamiya. So, and it's already got the uh, plugs on it, so it's nice. Next thing is I got some new bearings. These are actually seal bearings for it, if you can see there or not. I hope so. All right. So I'm going to change out all the bearings and put all these uh, the metal bearings here. They're, like I said, they're sealed, so they'll be protected against water and all. Uh, another thing, like I said, all the tires are dry rod. I got a brand new set of Tamiya uh, wheels for the Hummer and it's actually the same exact ones these are kind of like semi tight tires but it's yeah so there you go uh, another thing that I went ahead and ordered was some new rims these are the same rims I got on the uh, Tamaya Unimog these are the uh, G made uh, VR01 1.9 beadlock rims. These are actually the true beadlock rims. If you guys see this, let me pull them out of the pack. Let's see. Uh, I should have done this uh, before filming this, but yeah, I didn't think about it at the time. Ah, look, look, I got all three pieces right there in my hand. So this is three sets. So here's the back. It goes into the middle piece, and then you got your front piece. So yeah. So this is going to be a little bit different than the uh, Tamiya Hummer wheels. Yeah, see, yeah, if you can see that, yeah, there you go. See, it's a lot different than the Tamiya Hummer wheels, but I definitely think it's going to look a lot better. I don't know what you, what you guys think. What do you think? Look better? I, I think so too. So, it's a lot to do on this thing, guys. So like I said, I'm going to tear it down check out everything, make sure everything looks good, uh, do a complete respiration on this, restore this thing back to uh, actually good running condition. It runs, I tested it out like I said, it runs, but it does need a little TLC, which is tender loving Chris. <laughs> nah, just kidding guys. But it does need a little TLC, and hopefully I can get this thing up and running, get it out there in the trails. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. Now, I hadn't really picked a color that I'm gonna be painting this thing. I, I know it, I don't wanna go with the whole military, you know, look with it, you know, the whole green camouflage thing. I might do some type of different color. Uh, what color do you think, what color do you think I should paint it? I'm thinking more of an off-road color, uh, kind of like a charcoal gray, like a painted, you know, the Unimog, or I might do some other type of color, but I don't, I don't like this green color. It's not me, and I don't want it like that. I might do it in maybe a black or or uh, some type of color, uh, some off-road type of color. So guys, comment down below. Let me know what color you think I should paint this body shell, or 
you might say, hey, you know what? The old body shell here looks pretty good. Why don't you keep it? Keep it the same color. It gives you that more scale, rugged look like this thing's been through hell and back. Um, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so comment down below. Let me know what you think on it. So, yeah, guys, so this is my next little project. And like I said, hopefully it goes better than the last project. And uh, I'm going to try to film it. Keyword, I'm going to try. Okay, I might not have everything uh, in there, but I will try it to you guys. All right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this time. I'm going to try. Maybe the second time will be my lucky charm on this. So, yeah. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope that you continue on watching this restore project as I restore this back to a good running condition and get it out there on the trail and look great and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, you can visit the channel's Facebook page for all the pictures and behind the scenes stuff at facebook.com forward slash RC84 films. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all later.